So I think a lot of diecast collectors in the Netherlands are asking themselves what can we expect from the diecast section in the new Smith Toys Superstore that just opened in Amsterdam and Rotterdam? Well, let's find out. I'm not going to the one in Amsterdam, I'm only going to the one in Rotterdam. But at this moment, that is the biggest Smith Toy Store in the Netherlands right now. Okay, so we arrived at Smith's Toys, Toy Superstores. First time I'm here, we're going to find out. They have a good die cast section. So here we are at the die cast section. And I already see some Siku right here. Um, these are new for 2023. First time I find those in store. And what do we got here? The limited edition gift bag from Mijoret. And we got a lot of Siku over here. So that is a good sign already. Oh yes, I was looking for this monster truck. This is a good one. I'm definitely going to take this one home with me. Can't wait for a little bit of sunshine in the Netherlands so I can go outside and make a nice photo with it. This is also a good sign. That is a very good set. Uh, first time I found it was on a Dykist event a couple of weeks ago. The video is on my YouTube channel, but it is very good to see those here in store. And what do we got here? We got a Monster Jam Chase, a brand new model, Swine and Dash. That is also a chase in that two pack, El Toro Loco. What do we got here? Okay, we got another premium set here in the Smith Toys. We got some uh, Monster Truck 2 packs from Hot Wheels. Ooh, whoa. Yes, this is a very good Hot Wheels set. I like this Shelby GT500 a lot, but the rest of this set, totally awesome. Check this out. The van with the flames, the Caddy, Subaru. Yeah. The whole set is good. So, um, those are already in the pockets. Uh, here we got another Hot Wheels set. Love that Back to the Future package, by the way. Ooh, $6.99. That is a good price for this premium Hot Wheel. They're all the same, all McLarens. These are uh, 10 euro, so that's a normal European price for Hot Wheels premiums. So not bad at all. We got the Batman set right here. Love the package. Good artwork. So that is the complete set. And the complete set is still hanging on the packs. Okay, this is uh, my favorite of the pack. But now I see it. Mm, it looks a little bit too much plastic. I do like the artwork. Okay, here we got the Lamborghini Veneno. Nice one. Yeah, let's see if we can find the complete set. Um, we put it right here. There we see another collector. I was not first, certainly not last, but uh, yeah. Yeah, he found the fan and that was the last van on the packs. And he was so kind uh, to let me film it. So thank you very much for that. If you're watching that video, thank you. Time a taxi. I'm also looking for that one. So let's see if we can uh, find that one. Civic, also a good one. This is from the F case. I was hoping that they had the G case. But unfortunately, uh, the F case, just like the Z-Man and the Kruidvat. Okay, let's have a look at the CQ first because it was a little bit busy at the Hot Wheels section. Yeah, that is pretty good looking. I like those CQ models a lot, especially the construction machines. This is also a good one. The Corvette Stingray with opening parts. And here you can see what is possible. So opening parts and you can take the wheels off. Okay, here we got some more Siku models. Yeah, those tractors are very cool. 
I think it's in a 150 skill. Yes, it is. Same as this harvester class harvester. Wheel loader. Yep, absolutely fantastic. This is the plane. Um, this is not the latest one. The latest one is right here. And I have to say, if you're a kid, this is a pretty cool looking airplane. And it also got light. Yep, there it is. Pretty cool looking private plane. I like that. A little bit too much plastic for me, but I think if you're a kid, you'll love it. Siki World. It's also good. Um, yeah, here we got some bigger scale models from Maisto and Burago. Yeah, I think those uh, Ferrari uh, models from Burago are really good. Okay, so here the limited edition gift pack from Mijaret already showed you that. You can find the video on my YouTube channel. The black edition gift pack, still my favorite gift pack of all times from Mijaret. Yeah, here we got the Ferraris, very cool looking in a 124 scale. Okay, so here the CQ. This one is, whoa, be careful, dude. But uh, now we can have a better look at this model. Now it's out of the package. So very cool looking, but I still think CQ have to do something about those rims. If the rims are authentic, this car is a winner. It is already good, but it would be better with the authentic rims. This is also pretty cool Dodge with uh, a little bit of tuning. Do I see more new stuff? Yeah, this is also a new casting for 2023. BMW, lensed front lights, lensed rear lights. This is also pretty cool looking, a Dutch ambulance. I think the skill is 187. And the skill of the cars is 155 they do that because it's matching better to all the other models they got yellow super truck those are 187 skill just like the john deere harvester couple of multi-packs here um yeah dicky garage the super city Mijaret garage Okay, let's go over here, because here I... Oh, here we have some five packs, but this is pretty old news. Unfortunately, no Nissan five pack. Definitely waiting for that one. And I hope Aldi or Lidl will sell them for a good price uh, pretty soon, including the Nissan five pack. Well, I guess we have to wait for that one. No, it's not here. Hot Wheels Legends. No. But this is brand spanking new and I found it first time in store. Fantastic uh, set from Hot Wheels, especially the Lamborghini and the Audi. Uh, not a big fan of the truck, but uh, the three cars are so cool. 30 euro, that's a very good price for Europe. Okay, uh, do we have more diecast here? No. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see if we can find some more Hot Wheels premiums. But first we are going to have a look at this set. Yeah, this is also a cool set. And the complete set was still hanging on the packs. The favorite is definitely the yellow Lamborghini. Uh, unfortunately, no matchbox in that in this store, so there is room for improvement. But at this moment, Smith's Toys has the best Hot Wheels assortment in the Netherlands. No doubt. And if you're living in the neighborhood of one of these two stores in Amsterdam or Rotterdam, uh, if I were you, I will check this store every day. Yep, 
yeah there we have the Lamborghini again the Veneno that set was still there um, I've checked all the Hot Wheels main lines and it was a little bit of a mess and I thought let's uh, clean up that mess so it looks a little bit better so I'm going to do that uh, first and see if there is any cool Hot Wheels mainline uh, left on the pack. But I can tell you Porsche was already gone. The Audi already gone. So that was a sign I was not first. Ah, Time Taxi. Yes. I'm a big fan of those Time Taxis. I don't know. It is a fantasy casting, but... I like it a lot. It's definitely my favorite uh, fantasy casting. This is also a cool one, but I didn't buy it because no license plate. No, uh, yeah. That was the reason for me not to buy it. So eventually I will hang it back on the packs. This is a good one. This is what we want. Look at this. Painted front lights, license plate, and here in the back also a license plate. This car is complete. This is what we want, and this is what we like, and is what we need. Full deco. Uh, that's also a cool one. The Armag Armageddon. Yeah. And this one. I think this one is better looking uh, than the one, well, I'm going to show you so you can see it for yourself, in my opinion. Eh? Let's have a look. So here we got the one from the Batmobile set, but I like the main line a lot more. I think the, the gold one looks a little bit too much plastic. But yeah, the package is a lot better than the one from the main line. Snoopy, always cool. I like Snoopy. Peanuts, cool. Ah, this is also very interesting. Um, yeah, this is for blind people. So this was very cool to find. And I bought this one. I'm not blind, but uh, I think uh, it's pretty cool Hot Wheels uh, did this. It's not cool that they did this with a fantasy. It was better if they did this with uh, the Mercedes or uh, the Corvette. Yep, that's also a good one. The DeLorean. Another time a taxi for the dude. One in the package and one out of the package. Okay, this van is also uh, pretty nice, but I don't like the wheels. I do have the gray version of it. Uh, yeah, the Hummer there on the right. Okay, I think it's time to uh, clean up this mess so the next collector will find a nice and clean Dica section. Let's do this. Hey, voila! That looks a lot better. Everything well, nice and sorted. Yeah, so this is uh, what I'm going to take home with me. Shelby GT500, the Lamborghini, also 10 euro, just like the Shelby. Uh, Hot Wheels mainlines, 2 euro a piece. This Porsche, can't leave behind the Porsche. And the two Timer Taxi and the two Camper Monster Trucks. Uh, really nice that they also have Monster Jam Series 28. Already got those, so I'm going to leave them behind for another collector Monster Jam fan. Uh, what I also was really surprised about is this diorama set from Hot Wheels for 30 euro. Really good. So overall, I can say Smith's Toys is a good place for the diecast collector in the Netherlands. Is there room for improvement? Yes, definitely. For now, I have to say thanks for watching. Bye.